Hey there fellow creators, welcome to another exciting tutorial. Today I will show you a fantastic trick to create a mesmerizing flickering and blinking light effect for your scenes. It's super simple but the results are absolutely stunning. By the end of this video you will have all the knowledge you need to make your spotlights dance with life and add that extra touch of magic to your projects. So let's dive right in and unlock the secrets of captivating lighting effect together. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to eject from this camera view and show you the spotlights which causes that flickering and blinking effect on the facilities. And let's take a look to the details of this spotlight. And as you're observing, it has the intensity of 350 with some special color and specified tension radius and nothing special is happening here but we have this light function section and this is the material which causes to blinking effect and flickering effect on the light so I'm gonna clear it and let's create this material from scratch so you would understand and learn the process for example let's call it M underline flickering light and Let's double click and here we have the material editor and the first thing to do is to change the material domain to light function and after that I'm going to add a panner node to the material editor surface and this panner node allows you to animate the textures and create dynamic visual effects so the first node is this coordinate so I'm going to connect it to texture coordinate node and we will reach to this node later on so let's just continue and the second node is time so let's create a time node here and with this node we're going to control the frequency of the blinking and let's combine it with a constant vector by holding the one key on the keyboard and click on a blank space and let's convert it to a parameter and name it as blink speed because this node is going to control the speed of the flickering and let's combine the blink speed and the time nodes with a multiply node by holding the M button on the keyboard and clicking on a blank space and just like that and let's connect this multiply to the panner and the time node and now it is time to connect this panner node to a texture so I'm gonna use this texture and let's take a look to the texture itself. Let's double click on it. And here we have the texture and I'm going to show you the red channel. You can see that it's kind of a noise texture. And I will show you the reason of using this texture. But for now, let's just continue and connect the red channel to emissive color. So right now we have kind of a noisy material but how is it supposed to act like a flickering function? Let me just increase the speed in the panner node on the X axis. And after that, I am gonna increase the blink speed. Let me set it, for example, to one. And you can see that we have kind of a rotating noisy material. So let's check the texture coordinate node. And by adjusting these U tiling and V tiling parameters, I'm able to control the size of these textures. So I'm going to decrease the parameters to 0 0.002. And, and right now I am magnifying the size of the texture, let's see, on a rectangular shape. And you know that this is happening because of that rotating effect that we've created. And I think now you're understanding why we use the red channel on the texture. So let's assign the material that we've created to the light function of this spotlight. And there you have it. With this technique, you can add an extra layer of realism and ambience to your scenes. The dynamic interplay of light and shadow brings your creations to life, captivating your viewers' attention. So go ahead, unleash your creativity and let your spotlights shine and flickering brilliance. The possibilities are endless and the results are truly captivating. Happy creating!